Adamawa is one of the three states in the northeast which has suffered devastation as a result of insurgency, with the education sector being the worst hit. The situation is, however, being addressed as the state's commissioner for information gives insights into the rehabilitation plans of the state, beginning with 25 schools. When we came on board, one of the first thing we did was invest resources into doing the need assessment of all the schools. And we contracted a consultant to move around the state, and uh, we have been able to gather enough reports on the status of the schools that we have in Adamawa State. The governor of Adamawa State, who made an unscheduled visit to government school and government day secondary school, both in Furore, blames his predecessor for abandoning education in the state, as he promises to ensure immediate rehabilitation and renovation of the schools. And we're here to ensure that one of, this school is one of the 21 schools that we intend to give it a comprehensive first leap that will look like a school where we'll have good graduates that will be the future of tomorrow. We are happy. Our prayers, God have been approved our prayers. We are, we are praying to this government as he promised. May Allah help him to... to Government Secondary School Fufore in Fufore local government area of the state was established in 1977 as a core educational college. But today it is a shadow of itself. The dilapidation in this school is enormous. Blown off rooftops, tattered ceilings, empty classes without furniture, library facilities, the examination hall and laboratory are in a sorry state. The principal bemoans the fate of a school under the previous administration. Nothing. They have not seen anything. They don't give feeding. We pay high, the, the, the children pay high rate of school fees. And nothing. No single classroom or single hostel has been renovated throughout that tenure. This intervention, which will be in phases, is aimed at transforming the education sector in the state.